What's up, guys? Check out what I got. Oh, it's just a box. Hang on. There, that's better. Uh, how about a little B-roll to show it off? Alright guys, if it's not obvious by now, today's video we're going to do an install and we're going to do a review on Tab Performance's BAM Stick Slip-On Mufflers. But we're not just going to do an install and review, we're also going to show the difference between their zombie baffles and their medium louvered baffles. I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think of both baffles and we're also going to get Lady Devil's opinion as a passenger going down the road. My current mufflers, I went a little quieter than the previous ones I had. But they're almost too quiet, so I'm hoping the zombie baffles are loud enough to make me happy, but uh, quiet enough to make Lady Devil happy. So let's throw them on the bike real quick. We'll throw up some idle footage. We'll do a couple rev bombs, and I'll give you my first impressions on the Tab Performance BAM sticks. Well, as far as install, they're done. So let's back this sucker out in the driveway and annoy the neighbors for a little bit. All right, we got it backed out into the driveway. So first up is gonna be the zombie baffles. I'll do a startup, an idle. I'll do a 2000 RPM rev-ish, and then I'll do a 6000 RPM rev. Okay, now that you've heard the zombie baffles, the bike's cooled off. I'm going to put the medium baffles in and we'll do a comparison. And don't worry, at the end of the video, we'll do a back-to-back -back comparison so the sound files will go back and forth. If you're deciding between these two baffles, that should give you a good idea of what the sound is like for each one. I've already reviewed the footage and the microphone I'm using to record these is pretty accurate as far as uh, the range of sound. So it should be a pretty accurate representation of both what these baffles both sound like. So it should be pretty easy to change these baffles. You've got two bolts that hold on the end cap and then you have one bolt that holds in the baffle. As far as build quality on these guys, they are pretty solid. I made sure I installed it first. My initial impression was really good, but sometimes you don't know until you get it installed. So I installed it with the zombie baffles, took it back off, and I'm completely happy with the build quality. The welds are good. Um, the finish is really good on it. It's got like this, uh, I don't know if you can see that finish. It's got almost a, it's not a wrinkle, but it's a, uh, I'm sure they have a name for it that I, I am not sure what it is. So let's knock the baffle out and see what that's like. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can see right there that it's starting to move. Okay, it just broke free.
All right, as you can see, the zombie baffle is a smooth bore inside. And if you compare it to their medium baffle, it's louvered. You can kind of see right in here that goes all the way down the ID of this baffle. So what that's going to do is quiet it down. Just gotta make sure you line up your hole. Spin it until the uh, end kind of drops in. And actually, I didn't even need a mallet to, to change that out. Once you get it started, then you can take a dead blow and tap it in. But as you can see, I didn't even need a dead blow for it. And just like that, the baffle switched. By the time you took your saddlebags off, you pull your pipe off your head pipe and you swap the baffle. It's like 10 minutes if you're slow. Super fast to do. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the medium baffles as we did with the zombie baffles. I'm gonna do a startup, an idle. I'm gonna rev it to 2,000, 2,500, and then I'll rev it to about 5,500. I don't wanna go clear, clear to red line. The lighting might be a little bit different because it is a different day. I wanted to give these a fair assessment, so I spent some time with the zombie baffles, and now I'm gonna spend some time with the medium baffles. And at the end, I'll give you my opinion. Lady Devil will give you her opinion, and hopefully it'll help you guys decide which ones to get. So here we go. So what did we think of each one? The zombie baffles, they were loud, but they weren't like blow your eardrum loud. And I was kind of surprised once we got on the highway that they weren't all that bad. I didn't have any like loud droning in my full face helmet and you were good with your half, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, going through town, they were loud going through the gears and stuff, but once we got on the highway, so they still retained a little bit of the low end but typically you lose a little low end when you have loud pipes. So they still had a decent amount of low end with, with some volume to them. They wouldn't be that bad on a long trip if you're used to loud pipes. So what's it like from a passenger's perspective? I'm not gonna lie, when we were out here and you were revving it, I was super nervous because they were ridiculously loud. So I thought they were gonna be super loud when we were um, on our on our ride, um, but they didn't sound that bad. They sounded really good. I had my ha half helmet on, so <laughs> so I liked them. They were they were they sounded really good. So on the flip side of that, the medium baffles. Once we got those in and start doing the revs and stuff, I could instantly tell that they retained a lot of the low end. So there was a good a good amount of bass to them with a little less volume. They had a really good tone to them. They were still loud in town loud-ish, what you, what you expect out of a V-twin motorcycle engine, especially a Harley. Going through the gears in town, people will still know you're there. 
and uh, they weren't quiet by any means but they to me they had almost the perfect sound of volume and low-end rumble ultimately that's the baffle we ended up picking to stay on the bike because once we got on the highway it was quite a bit quieter than the zombie baffle and since we do mostly long riding on this bike it just felt right for us to use the medium baffle just for the the volume uh, aspect of it is that kind of what you thought too from mm -hmm. from the yep. back seat definitely they're they're loud but they're not as loud as the zombies um, they still sound great um, I, I loved them yeah yeah we really liked both of them. Yeah, it, they, was, it was very hard to, yes. to decide. But since, like I said, since we do long distance on this bike, the quieter ones seemed more fitting. About 10 years ago, we probably would have gone with the zombies. But, yeah, you know, sure. we're, we're older now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are looking for some good, well-built slip-on mufflers for your motorcycle, check out the Tab Performance brand. It's tabperformance.com. Aren't they in Nebraska? Yeah, they're out of Lincoln, Nebraska, and uh, customer service seems really good. You can't really go wrong with Nebraska people. We're, we're all really we're nice. We're pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you got some use out of it. We'll see you next time.